In this video, we're going to come up with a Maclaurin series for inverse sine of x. So we've seen this in the past. When you differentiate inverse sine of x, it will give you, it will give you this. So the idea is to turn this into a series, and then uh, turn it into a series, and then and then integrate integrate the series. That will then give us that will then give us this. So that's the idea. So so when you differentiate this, you know you're going to get this. Now turn this. So so turn this, turn this. So turn so turn this into this because um, so so visualize this as being uh, to the power. So so visualize this as being the bubble here, the bubble here to the power of negative a half. To the power. So visualize this thing as this thing here. But in or, in order for us to use the binomial the binomial series here, binomial expansion, we need um, we need it in this form. We need it in the form of one plus something but then here we've got one minus something so vis uh, visualize as being a bubble here push the negative into here and then this will be a plus so uh, so push push the negative into into uh, into here that will then give you this and then there's a plus so now now this is of this form because you've got one plus something you've got one plus the bubble here and then, uh, and then your m here is your negative a half. So, uh, so now we can we can turn this into a series. So, here, for the first term, it will be one. So, for the first term, it will be. So, for the first term, it will be one. And then for the second one, for the second one, hang on. For the second one is when k equals k equals one. So you would put the one into here, and then the one into here. So that would be m one. So that would be hang on, bear with me. That would be that would be. So, so you put one into here and into here. So that would be uh, m one. And then and then this this bubble here, this bubble here, and then it would be this bubble here uh, to the power of one to the power of one. Uh, and, and our bubble happens to be to be uh, negative x squared. So so the so the first term will be will be the first term is this one here, which is this one here. The next one would be the coefficient would be this coefficient. By the way, for the first one it would be simply be be this. And and by the way, this this notation here is given by is given by this. Okay, so so uh, so. For the first one, where where it's one, where in our case it's one, in our case it's one. This whole thing here simply becomes m. So uh, so that would be that would be. Let me think. That would be uh, m. M is this thing here. M is negative a half. So uh, so the so this coefficient here, this coefficient here would be negative a half. Would be negative a half. And then we've got our bubble here, which is this thing here to the power of one to the power of one. So so our first term, hang on. So our first term would be one, which is this one here. And then the next one is when k equals one. Uh, when k equals one it would be m one uh, uh, and then x uh, well, and then bubble to the power of one. So uh, so this coefficient here would be this half, negative a half, and then you've got your bubble and then to the power of one, to the power of one. So now our next one, our next term, our next term will be when k equals two. So we've got to put two into this k here, and we've got to put two into this thing here. So for the next term, it will be m. Uh, it would be m, and then the next one will be two, and then this one here will be bubble, and then don't forget we, we're going to put a two into this thing, into this there, so it will be squared. Well, the bubble here, turn this bubble here was uh, was minus x squared in that bubble. Well, this coefficient here for the for the second one there is is this bit here. So for the second one, it would be m. Uh, it would be uh, m, which is the which is negative a half here, and then uh, times with with m minus one, so so negative for this one here, it would be negative half take away one. That would then give you this. 
so on. So this thing here would be this. Your m here would be this. And then you've got two factorial, two factorial. And don't forget, you've got the, the bubble squared. So the bubble squared. So that that's your next term here. And then uh, and then the, uh, the the third term, the third term is well, you would put three into here. So that would be that would be m three bubble to the power of three. Now this thing here would be well for for when k is greater or equal to three. We're, we've got to start using this. So now, uh, now it would be it would be m, which would be which would be a negative a half, and then uh, and then m minus one, which would be negative a half take away one, which would be this, and then the next one would be take uh, take uh, take away two, so that would then be this, and then to the power of three factorial that would have, that would then be this, and then it would be the bubble to the power of three. The bubble happens to be negative. Um, x squared and so on. So, so that would then take us to here. Okay, and then, and then now tidy this up. So, um, so tidy this up. So, so hang on, let me think. This thing here. Um, so, so you've got a you've got an, a a a negative times a negative here. That would be a positive. And then this thing here gets multiplied to the top. And then you've got your two here. And then tidy this up. This times this. So it would be top times top, which would be 3, um, well, think about it, tidy this whole thing up, um, uh, uh, tidy this whole thing up, that would then give you, uh, that, that would then give you this, because, well, you, you've got to square this first, so that would then give you positive x to the power of 4, and then, uh, well, think think about it, this whole thing here would, would tidy, up, tidy up to this, and then uh, simplify this, that will then give you this. So we will continue from here in the next video.